Hey, how you doing? It's Rick Claus, Senior Technical Evangelist of Microsoft Canada. This is a screencast of the demos for a session that I presented at TechEd North America, Tech in New Zealand and TechEd Australia, and it's called Get Out of Dodge, Migrating to Windows Server 2008 R2 X64. In case you're wondering, those codes for North America, WSV310, New Zealand was WSV302, and Australia was SRV307. Want to find out more about me? Check out my main website at regularitguy.com or about.me slash rickclaws. This screencast is for migration tools install, the very first demo. It ain't pretty, but you know what? It's easy enough. I've got a couple of servers in use here, and we're switching back and forth, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a heads up. I've got my main domain controller, which is running server 2008 R2. His name is W2K8R2-DC. I've got my source server, which is a server running 2003R2, and he's called Contoso-DHCP. And finally, my target server is server 2008R2, but he's a core install, and his name is Contoso-DHCP-T. Let's get started. Here we are on our 2008R2 system. That's going to be the source for these migration tools. Very simple. I'm just going to use some PowerShell to go ahead and install the feature of the migration tools. You can do this through the GUI as well if you wanted to. I'm going to be doing this one through PowerShell because uh, I'm just going to stay consistent with most of the tools I'm going to be using here. So very simply, uh, import module command. And I'm looking for the module specifically called Server Manager to be able to add and remove features from the command line in PowerShell. And then uh, going ahead and using the Add Windows feature, Windows Migration. Very quick option, comes up with a success is true, which is good. And then once that's installed, I'm just going to go off to a uh, elevated command prompt change into the c backslash windows directory system32 server migration tools now this is already inside the path but uh, once in here I'm going to run the smig deploy utility now this is a bunch of command line switches the switches I'm going to use are to extract a package that is for the x86 architecture so there's the switch for package and architecture now my target system, or my source system, is uh, server 2003 for this example, so my operating system of WS03. I'm going to extract this to a path of c backslash source, and then press enter, and it brings off all the tools, and we're all set to go for that. I need to get these tools installed on my target and destination systems. And so because my target is 2003, it's on the network to keep things simple. I'm just going to go ahead and share out this directory with my administrative group to make it so that I can have access to these files over the network and then copy them down. Nice and simple. Next up I gotta go off to my source server which is a 2003 server to be able to get these tools ready to go. Now before I can install those tools I gotta make sure I have the prerequisites and the prerequisites for this particular package is that I have the .NET runtime installed it's updated and patched and everything. Now that's already installed on my system because it takes a little bit of time. Next thing up is I've gone ahead and downloaded the install package for PowerShell v1 that runs on server 2003. So go ahead and launch that guy and go through the install of it through a wizard interface. Make sure you uh, read that user license agreement before you click on the agree and then uh, watch the progress bar as it goes through and does this install. Now I don't have to go through this kind of a process with a manual download with Server 2008 obviously because Server 2008 has PowerShell and the runtimes available as part of the install. You just have to make sure it's uh, installed for you. I'll show you that in just a minute. But the pre prereqs are done. I just need to get that source package either through a USB stick or in this case I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the network to browse over to my server. Now my server in this case that has that source package shared out is my domain controller, so that's uh, WSV, sorry, W2K8R2-DC backslash source, and there's my package there, I'm just going to copy that, and then I'm going to bring it down local to my C drive source, 
There we go. And then from there, I'm going to go to a command prompt and launch the install. So just back here to see backslash source into that uh, server migration tools deploy for the x86 package and then just run smig, smig deploy. Now this is going to go ahead and extract out all the different uh, add-ins it needs to have and then it's going to go off and launch PowerShell and make sure that PowerShell window is populated with the proper snap-ins to be able to work. Pretty simple stuff. Let's head over to my uh, 2008 core system. So this is my 2008 core server install. It's a little bit more difficult, so to make sure you don't make any typos, I've got this uh, text file here that has the commands. First off is running OC setup to install the .NET runtime, install PowerShell, and also the uh, server manager tools. Commandlet, sorry, there we go. And one thing I don't like about OC setup is it doesn't give you any error response if you have a typo or anything else like that. So another reason why I'm using my script here just to make sure that I don't uh, fudge up any of my uh, command lines. Next up is I'm going to install the feature for server migration. And that will bring my tools down. Unlike my 2003 systems where they have to be installed manually, um, this is part of the operating system feature install set. So if you had a GUI, you could use a GUI to install it. I'm using the command line here for OC setup and making sure my server migration tools are installed. Nice and simple. Again, the slight delay is your indication that things are working well. If it came back with a very fast uh, response from that command line, you know or you should know that uh, whatever it is you're trying to do with OC setup did not in fact complete. Next up is running PowerShell. Because it's been installed, it's inside my path. I can just run it and execute it. This now becomes a PowerShell window. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Server Manager. So import Server Manager to be able to go ahead and to load the feature set of migration. So there's the Server Manager, and here's my feature of migration to bring in. And last but not least, when that guy finishes, here he's doing the install, success true, is I'm going to initialize the snap-ins for the server manager tools of migration on my core box. Now, I've gone ahead and done this on all my other systems, but uh, this is just a quick way to show you the setup on a 2003 system and a 2008 system uh, from scratch. And we're all set.